I guess they're all kind of little personal creations. Some artists can just turn something out, like on a commission, but I just find that very difficult. I have to be inspired, you know, and, and the, the inspiration that I have doesn't come on command. My name is George McDonald, and I'm a crook maker. What is a shepherd's crook? At their most simple, they're a tool that's used to catch and hold sheep. Working shepherds still use them. Right there. Steady. But they tend to use unbreakable crooks, you know, either made of metal or plastic or something like that. Lie down. The horn crooks That'll hear. almost always are used by competition shepherds at sheepdog trials all over the country. Scottish blackface ram's horn is what I have here, and I fell in love with them in Scotland and discovered that they're also the best horn to use to make crooks. It takes about 40 hours to make a crook from start to finish. I'll start heating it here and clamp it this way to wrap it around this form a little bit more. This will make one. I harvest the sticks off my farm. And the best that I have found are hazelnut sticks. It takes a, a lot of feeling, it takes a lot of eye. You know, I'm not a painter, and I'm not really a sculptor, but I like the curved design of these things. I can make these handles feel good to people. This is a finished crook. Scottish blackface mounted to Twisted Sassafras from Kentucky. A crook is a very personal, personal piece of equipment. You can have this crook and this person will love it and this person will hate it. And there's no way of knowing that until they pick it up in their hand. I've used the same crook that I made myself for probably 25 years now. What a good boy. No one will ever get wealthy doing this. It's a labor of love as much as anything. Uh, Sam, what do you say?